Uh, Dr. Masha, it's a great pleasure to have you with us today. I wanted to ask you about your Congress. This is the third Congress Dabran is holding. What's the slogan? I think religion for the individual, democracy for, for all. Can you explain yes. that, please? Yeah, uh, the third conference of Pla Dabran platform, uh, it will be start today. And the slogan is, as you said, uh, religion for individual and democracy for all. Uh, in these societies, in these closed societies, as you know, we have got a religion in everywhere. Everywhere we will use religion to explain our life, to do what we need to do in our life as well. In this conference, we will try to discuss some of these notions uh, in, uh, in terms of uh, explain or to critic all the uh, contribution of religion in everyone in our life. That's the main aim of this conference. And uh, tell us a bit about the Dabram platform. It sounds very, you know, e exciting and something really important, not just for Kurdistan, but for the world. Yes, we want to contribute in a world, a new vision about religion as well. We have got uh, many uh, delight guests here and they will transfer the experience uh, with the radical Islam or radical religion in everywhere in the world and we will try to take place in the world uh, new uh, vision or new uh, notion towards religion and towards the radicalism, towards fundamentalism and all of the religions as well. It's not just Islam, it's not about just Islam, it's about religion and our life. You mention the term enlightenment a lot in Dabran platform and some will say the enlightenment is a Western concept, it's not applicable to the Middle East. Yeah, the enlightenment concept, however, it's a, uh, it comes from uh, Western society or Western culture, but we will try to uh, transfer to convey it in a new concept or in a new context exactly. The new context is how we can use all of these terms, notion, concepts in our society in the Middle East as well. We have got many thinkers, many people who have a very good relationship with these concepts and with these terms and they will try to translate all of these things, all of the thinkers uh, view to our society in Middle East and in Kurdish society in particular. The other thing that's very clear when you uh, look around Soleimania is this idea that secularism is so important here as well. Uh, can you explain that? <clears throat> the secularism as a term it has been discussed in our society in the last two decades. It's not new for the Kurdish society because uh, one of the great party here, which is uh, Patriotic United of Kurdistan, they will try to uh, discuss this uh, term and uh, moreover some of the other uh, communist parties as well, they will try to discuss this and to bring this in our society. In Soleimani, as you see, because they name it the capital of culture in Kurdistan, most of the people here they are intelligent people, and they will try. These uh, people try to show the world they are deserve to be in this city. They are deserve to be in the capital of culture in Kurdistan. For that, we can see a variety of people here. Uh, the secularism will be the main uh, slogan of the city and after that we can find all of the believers here uh, because it's an open society and the city tries to show the world how we can live together, how we can be together. That's the main uh, point of the Suleimania city. What sort of support can people outside give to Dabran platform and to secularists and the enlightenment here in Kurdistan? Uh, sorry, I can't Sorry, um, the sort of uh, support people can give uh, yes. here to this, to the Dabran platform and to people <coughs> here. Yeah, uh, all the people who are uh, working here in the platform, on Dabran platform, there are people coming from the academic uh, sectors, there are people coming from uh, the other type of work here in Kurdistan. And 
uh, out of this we have got many politicians who tries to support us, who tries to convey our message to the others. And these politicians are people uh, who uh, maybe um, have got their allies, they have got their funds, and all of these, all of their speech will uh, affect the society, will affect a group of peoples. And most of these mechanisms, uh, which we plan to use it in Dabran platform, will go to support the Dabran strategy to convey the uh, notion of enlightenment, the notion of secularism to the other people. We are just not trying to stay inside the narrow society of intellectual people. They will try to convey these to the whole society, from the street man to the academic man as well. For that we need support from outside the world, we need support from politicians, from uh, religions, from everywhere, everyone who can support this because we want to live in peace. We need peace in this Middle East area. As you know, we experienced a lot of world wars and we have experienced a lot of violence uh, in the name of God, in the name of religion. For that, we will try to get support from everywhere. Okay, thank you so much. For thank you. Yourself.